No to Hate, Harvey Milk Plaza, San Francisco, August 26, 2017. I have the honor of introducing next up Susan Henderson, Executive Director, Disability Rights Education and Defense Fund. Thank you to Cleve and Juanita Horizons and the Women's March for bringing us all together for today. Ellie Wiesel is quoted as saying, the opposite of love is not hate, it is indifference. If that's true, then the perfect antidote to indifference is action. In fact, the most appropriate response we can have to white supremacy, intolerance, and racism is to do something. And we're doing something today. We're saying no to hate. Okay. I'm the Executive Director of Disability Rights Education and Defense Fund, also known as DREDEF. We're based in Berkeley, and since our founding in 1979, DREDEF has worked for equality, opportunity, and justice for people with disabilities. Disability justice is inclusive by its very nature. Disability justice is interdependent by design. Unlike our president, disability does not discriminate based on skin color, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, age, religious beliefs, or class. Ableism, racism, anti-Semitism, homophobia, transphobia, and sexism have no place here or anywhere. San Francisco has always been a place where people go to find community, where people come to make their home. San Francisco has always welcomed rebels, weirdos, and independent thinkers. Those of us who call San Francisco home embrace difference. We're proud of those things that make people and communities unique. We honor and celebrate that. Forty years ago, on April 5th, 1977, a group of about 150 disability activists, led by disabled women, took over the fourth floor of the Federal Health, Education, and Welfare Building in the Civic Center. They refused to leave until President Carter implemented a four-year-old law granting and protecting the rights of people with disabilities. 25 days later, with the support of the Black Panthers, Glide Memorial, and the Gay Men's Butterfly Brigade, they left victorious. And the fight continues. Just last month, disability rights activists from groups like ADAPT kept the fight to save the Affordable Care Act and Medicaid alive by protesting in Senate offices, risking arrest and their own health, because they know without Medicaid, people with disabilities, including children, would end up dying in institutions. Dredef is proud to honor those activists and all those who fought oppression of all kinds by joining with you, all of you here today, at the intersections of justice, by saying no to hate with our collective voices, loudly and proudly in this beautiful city. Thank you.